I'm at the Thomas P. Stafford Museum here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. And we're going to go look at some cool stuff. So it looks like this is all about Stafford's early years. Wow, his letterman jacket. Oh, wow. Stafford flew on the Apollo Soyuz test flight. First time Americans and Russians met in space. Twenty years later, we'd be uh, sending space shuttles to the Mir space station. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Stafford's uh, flight suit from the Apollo mission. couple of pictures of that. Oh, his old Apollo uh, flashlight. That's cool. Oh, the actual flashlight he carried. Oh. The Apollo rendezvous radar antenna. That's cool. There's Bob Griffin working uh, Capcom. Griffin later uh, flew one of the first space shuttle missions. He was a great pilot. Uh, he was a tremendous instructor and he really knew his stuff. He was just a hands on pilot, pilot, and instructor, instructor. That's a cool picture. Oh, wow. Wow, they got a, repl a replica right flyer here. That is awesome.
That's pretty cool. This demonstrates how uh, changing the pitch of uh, the um, propeller blades works. Got a full size reproduction of the Spirit of St. Louis. That is really cool. Another right flyer. I think that's a right flyer. No, that's a Curtis, Curtis Pusher. 1911 Curtis Pusher. Oh, they got a replica of the uh, the Bell X1, the glamorous Glennis. Oh, wish I could get a better shot of it. That is so cool. Get underneath the wing of uh, Spirit here. There we go. Oh, that's amazing. Long time ago, I had a chance to get a, a model of this autographed by Chuck Yeager, and I didn't do that, and I've regretted that ever since. And sadly, we lost uh, Colonel Yeager several years ago, one of the legends and pioneers of aviation. And here's the Hindenburg. Oh. You can stand inside the uh, intake of a jet engine. That's cool. They, oh, it's the tunnel to the next room. Okay. That's pretty cool. And right next to me is an actual, I believe it's an actual F-86 Saber. I wonder if this is actually a Bell X1, because they did have several. And this might just be a reproduction. Oh man. This place is definitely worth the price of admission. This right here, is this a MIG? It's got a red star on it. It's a MIG-21. Oh, wow. They got a MIG-21 in here. That's cool. Oh, I gotta step up here and take a look inside. <laughs> Watch your step. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a T-38 trainer, I believe. Yep, T-38 Talon. And right here, F-16 Viper. Let's go take a look at that. So this right here is a Mark 84, uh, I believe it's a nuclear weapon. No, this is just a this is a conventional bomb. It's not a nuclear, I don't think. This over here, however, 
is a replica of Little Boy. The aircraft banks away at high speed. The bomb dropped by the Enola Gay on Japan. Just 50 seconds later, 15 miles from ground zero, the Enola Gay is rocked. Oh, this is a two-seat uh, F-16. Must be the trainer model. And right here we have a B-61 thermonuclear bomb. The Enola Gay mission starts from Tinian in Mariana. 340 kilotons yield. Only yesterday they have controlled a Oh, they got a nice big model of an F-22 here. I wonder what this is. Oh, a Cessna T-37 Tweety Bird training cockpit. Yeah, I don't think I would fit in there, and if I did, I probably couldn't get back out again. Oh, I'm really tempted, though. That is so cool. Oh, if I were skinnier and shorter, I'd definitely go for it. But I don't want the museum to have to call the fire department to cut me out. Ooh, we got some models here. I love models. Yes, and these are all the planes that Stafford flew through his career. Quite impressive. No, I couldn't have fought. That's, that's an F-22, or an F-35. So, these are just models of different planes. But they were still really cool. I would love to have this collection. Let's continue right, we'll on to the, the jet engine now. See what's in here. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all the Soyuz stuff. Look at this. Oh, man. Oops. Air angle. There we go. Oh, this is part of a shuttle simulator. Okay. That's cool. It's an Apollo uh, radio antenna. Oh, this is the docking probe from an Apollo space capsule. Here's some more Apollo artifacts. <laughs> I 
Urine bag. Oh, model of the this ISS or mirror? ISS. Hubble. Space shell tires. The Apollo service and command module and the lunar lander. Look at that. Exhibit still under construction. That's too bad. This, I think, is a Saturn V engine. Yes, this is a Saturn V rocket engine. There were five of these on each Saturn V. Look at that monster. They have got a full-scale reproduction of a Titan II rocket. This is the rocket that carried the Gemini capsules. Possibly Mercury, but I don't think so. Definitely Gemini capsules into orbit. And here's one right here. Oh, it's Stafford's Gemini uniform. Oh, they got a full-scale reproduction Gemini over here. This is... And a mission control console! Dude! Oh, man. Look at this. Sorry about the angles here. I'm getting photos at the same time I'm recording. Man, a full-size Jiminy capsule. This isn't a reproduction, this is real! This is a real mission control console! Oh my god! This thing was really in the Johnson Space Center. That's incredible. There's no sign saying do not touch. I gotta, I gotta do it. Oh, I dreamed about this all my life.
Oh man. Oh, the clock has started and stopped at five hours, 17 minutes, 71 seconds. Man. This is a real treat. So here we have the uh, craft that started all. The first artificial satellite to be put into orbit, Sputnik. All it did was beep, but that was a beep that was heard around the world, and it changed everything. Over here is America's first satellite, Explorer. But yeah, this is the one that started it all. I'm in the gift shop right now, and I just found a patch wall. I think I'm about to spend some money. Yeah. All right, so I picked a few things up at the gift shop. Uh, some patches that I didn't already have. Got Apollo 1, Apollo 11, and Shuttle Challenger. And I picked up a Stafford Air and Space decal. So now it's time to get back on the road.